Hello guys, good evening. How are you doing? Can you listen to me? Hello? Hello, yes, I can. Hey, how are you doing, Emma? Good, everything good. Nice to hear that. Jenny Campos and Evelyn, welcome. Okay, um, so how are you doing, Evelyn? Jenny, how are you doing? I'm fine. Nice. I don't, I don't see you. <laughs> well, it's nice to hear you at least. Welcome to your session number 11. Um, today we're going to study something re related to um, modal verbs, but we have an another topic which I'm planning to start today. Before I get started, I would like to know if you have any questions about the platform or any specific uh, uh, maybe exercise you want to check on the platform. Are we fine? So far, so good. No questions. You're doing all right. Yes. No question. Yes. No. <laughs> You're doing good. I can see. Okay. Well, today we're going to study modal burns, and we're going to focus on three type of uh, options, and these are how to ask for permission, how to express obligation, and also how to express prohibition. Okay. So that's basically for today's session. We only have an hour, so we need to um, get started. Before I do that, I would like to know, I would like to ask you to remind me about yesterday's class. What did we say? Anything that you recall about modal verbs that you want to provide me with? Any example? Let's see, volunteers. Mm -hmm. So what they would say about using modal burns? Is there any any suggested structure or or not? What do they um, I mean how can we use them? Is there any um maybe context in which we, we can use specific ones or how does it work? Which one did we mention yesterday? Hmm, okay. Maybe uh, let me help you to refresh a little bit. Let me go back. Then, uh, well, yesterday I showed you this, if you remember, right? And then um, we didn't go over on this one. I think we can, yeah, we read this. Um, I remember that some of you did it. And I had this other one, which means the modal verbs are placed before the verb they are modifying, okay? That's for sure. You do not use any modal verb after the verb. That would be a whole, let's say, mistake. The formula is like this. The ones you see here, which are in red um, and blue color, these ones are considered modal verbs, right? So as you can see, we, we have the modal verb plus the verb at the, I should drive, uh, combine harvesters for a job. Um, and then you ought to travel um, the world by bike. And the last one, can you see it? Jeffrey, can you help me to read the very last one? I think you asked this yesterday, right? About um, 
if we, or what is the verb type that we use, right? Whenever we, we have more, I remember you did this. So can you do me a favor? Can you read the last example? And then also I want you to create one on your own and tell me. Uh, the sentence that say they must, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they must have jobs that make them happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you create one, any example using any model verse? I think I gave you some ideas or some of them yesterday. Give me one example. Uh, in my case, I like the model shall. Uh, for example, uh, shall we go shopping at supermarket? Uh -huh. Okay, and when do you use that? When do you use shall? When you um, are uh -huh. when I was studying about shall, I I only can understand this part in Spanish like eh, podríamos, but it's when you are eh, asking for a, a when you are want to say polite and you say for example uh, or when you are offer your your help to other people for example uh -huh. shall i uh, help you with your homework uh -huh. i think it's in this uh -huh. form i remember uh jeffrey when i was um learning this model and that one was like how can I use it? Because it's very formal, right? And then uh, I used to use it when we were like about to eat. Let's say we are like gathering a table and then I say, shall we eat now? Shall we eat now? And then, or shall we leave, right? Shall we go as you're using it? Yeah, so the way I can, I can say this is used is shall is like a combination with should and will. I think I mentioned this yesterday and, and it's very formal really formal okay okay good thank you so much anybody else who would like to provide an example or any question as of now in regards of this this topic modal burns guys anything uh, we must do the exercise in the platform before february 7th that is a good example. Yes, and that we must. Like it's basically an obligation if you want to pass this level, right? Okay, well, well, this, these three examples. And then um, as you can see the first one, the best representation is this picture. So this one. Richard. Yes. When, uh, what is the difference when you use out? Out. O2, uh -huh. Uh -huh. O2. O2 is, uh, is very similar to have to. It's very similar. They, they're very, I would say they're synonyms. O2 is like have to, in a way. So O2, this one. They express also obligation or they're used to, uh, to express sometimes orders, you know, O2, O2. I would say same level with have to. And must is like uh, obligation. This is no other. This is like the top, I would say. And should is more like for recommendations. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say this uh, sentence is represented here by this picture. And this one is, the second is this picture. And, the, and this one is this picture. Uh, combine harvesters is this type of machine or this is the machine or this is the the machine name like this okay um well let's move on guys uh today we have a new topic and this is let's see what well, we have we still have some other uh same thing modal verbs are before the main verb I might uh, win the race, I will win the race, and I may win the race, which is more uh, certain. This is, if we had these three ones, 
the more certain is this one, right? Because will is more uh, certain to happen, okay? Will, and then if you use may or might, the level of certainty is, is less, okay? So basically this one that has a, this flag right here is the one, the same thing that is more certain. So whenever you use will is because you are more, this or something is more likely to happen. Okay, let's see. Then we have, I uh, think some other examples. It's the same thing. And then uh, this is on the video. I don't know if you saw the video, guys. This is on the video. And we have moral burns and mind, could and must. Uh, the possibilities are less, but, right? And I mean, the, it's stronger than when we use perhaps, maybe, right? This is what we said yesterday. Maybe perhaps it means that th th there is less probability something to happen, okay? And I think, um, well, that's basically it. I don't know if you would like to maybe create a question or ask any question, guys, before we start with session number um, 11. This is it's still part of previous class. Section 11 is connected, actually. Teacher, I have a question. Teacher? Yes, tell Hi. me, tell me, Jenny. Uh, Melissa. Oh, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Change uh, your name. Yeah, tell me. Uh, uh, when you try to be more polite, uh, what modal verb is recommend? Mm, Could a... or should or may? Could is the one. To express, mm, okay. to express polite requests or that would be could. Like for example, actually could is, is really formal as well. I can say, Melissa, could you, and even if you want to be very polite, you want to use the word please. <clears throat> I can simply say, could you participate? And then if I say, could you participate please? Or could you please participate? As you can see, just by adding the word please, it makes it more polite. However, only could, you know, is already a polite expression. So could is the one indicated for, for that, that question. Uh, can, okay. you, can you ask me a question using uh, this model? Um, could you explain me the last class, mm -hmm. please? Good. Could you explain to me the last class? Okay. Do you know the difference between explain me and explain to me, guys? Melissa? I don't know. Does anybody know this when you say explain me and explain to me? Explain. Uh, I want to, maybe if you know, uh -huh, go ahead. Uh, I think that you use ing and is necessary out too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it has to do, but the main difference is the following. It is, this is a very, I would say simple, but um, important mistake that we have to consider or correction that we have to make. When you say, and I know this is a parenthesis, guys, but when you say, um, explain me, you mean that, I, that you want me to explain you, you, your personality, the way you behave. So if I, in, in, in order for me to explain you, I need to know who you are. Melissa is very kind. Melissa is a um, um, nice person and she likes working a lot. And I'm explaining you follow me but then if you want uh, someone to explain maybe a topic and then you say I want you to explain to me because the two makes a difference you are referring to something for example explain uh, the topic to me or explain to me that explain to me but then when you use two that is really important because it makes a difference on what you mean so if you want somebody to explain something you don't say explain me you say explain to me so that in that case just fyi uh, could you explain to me the last topic 
or could you explain the last topic to me? That would be the appropriate one. If you if you already know this, also, and if you didn't know, write it down so you don't make that mistake when you are speaking English. Because I I listen to this mistake. I know we all make mistake. I know that. But then this this uh, verb is very used and. Um, and I hear it like many times, even for uh, from colleagues that they are saying, explain me, but you know, it's not the way, okay? Let's close the parenthesis and maybe you want to write it down, okay? In somewhere. Now, let's go back to the topic. And today we have uh, permission, obligation and prohibition. Tell me, which models do you think we use to express permission? The, from the ones we already mentioned. Permission, which May. one? May. And, and obligation? Must. Must. Mm -hmm. Gustavo, this is May. Must. And prohibition? Is there any expression that is used when we want to express uh, prohibition? Don't have. Don't, don't have, okay. All right, let's see. Mas, says Gustavo. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the following ideas. Uh, I want you to first answer this question. Look at this one. Uh, let's see, Jeffer, ask this question your, to yourself and then give me your answer. Do you want that I read the sentence? Yes, read it and answer it. Okay. Are you allowed to drive and use the phone? Why? Uh, in class, uh, I think we can, we are allowed to use the phone, but not using the microphone. No, we are not allowed to drive and using the phone. Uh -huh. Why? Uh, because we can create an accident. That is the main reason, right? Uh, distraction. Uh, there is a campaign, I think, uh, I saw it like maybe a couple of years ago, launched by AT&T, that, that it says it can wait. Like uh, you receive a message, something you know uh i don't know an alert on your phone and then you want to see it but it says it can wait because if you're driving you know you have to uh, focus on what you're doing because it might be very dangerous right so um, the answer is we are not allowed to drive uh, and use the phone at the same time for many reasons right and this is a way to express, uh, what do you think? Permission, prohibition, or um, what was the other one? I don't remember, obligation, I think it was, right? Uh, uh -huh. which, which one from these three? Permission? Prohibition. Okay, all right. Prohibition. All right, so, and what about if we do this? Uh, let's see, we have a permission, but we did this already, and hold on, here we go. This is from the video. I know you might seen it already. And we have, we, ha we were given this already. For permission, we have can and be allowed to. So that's the construction. Obligation, have to, or we can say, in this case, the contraction of have got to. And for prohibition is uh, can't, and then we have aren't allowed. So it's basically the negative form. I need a volunteer to help me reading or to read the first one, only the first column here. Anybody, I, I see we are like 12 connected. So I need a volunteer to read it, please. Only this one. Per permission. Thank you. You can, you can come here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Thank you so much. Number two, maybe Melissa, would you like to read this one? Okay. Obligation, you have to come here. You go to take off your shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one, I don't know if Gustavo can use his mic. The last one. 
prohibition. You can't come here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. I thank you so much. Right, this this pronunciation is a little bit long, right, Ken? You barely pronounce the letter T, Ken. And the other one, which is the short one, Ken, Ken, Ken. And then the other one is Ken. And then you pronounce the T at uh, the very last sound. Good, Let, do me a favor. Um, Work on one permission statement, on one obligation statement, and one prohibition, and try to use this this model, these uh, options given here. I'll give you maybe two or three minutes, and you give me one of each category. Think about general things, not only um, maybe at school. Think about maybe at home or at work, and then you provide me with these examples. I'll give you three minutes, one per each category. Start writing, and then you share with me. you have your examples you have two options you can uh, open your mic and share them uh, or you can uh, you know just send your messages here so we can see your ideas What do you have? What have you written? For the first category, let's start with the first category. Uh, permission, let's see what do you have? Permission, okay, Gustavo, I wanna see your example in general. Okay, you can eat in class. Okay, using the the option can. Yeah, if if um, the school or if the teacher gives you, you know, the permission, you can do it, right? Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Let's see. Um, then you can go to the trip, right? And then says Melissa, an obligation. Okay, still send me the ones for permission. Those who haven't shared anything, please do it. Share with me your examples. We are here, we are, let's see 13, son 12. So I, I need to see 12 examples in here. So send me 12. You can't listen to music still. You can, you can still listen to music at 9 p.m., okay? Yeah, in a way, you must pay your bills on time. There's no option, Melissa. <laughs> if you pay then after, you know, the due date, then you are in trouble. Okay, let's try to use this option we have, we have here. 
Let's see. Then we have, I, you can play the piano every day. So that's permission. Okay. In this case, it's being used as abilities, but it's okay. And then you, you have to use seatbelt. I like that one, Gustavo, because it's like um, obligation for your own security, right? For your own safety. Yes. And then we have, can I go, can I go to the game? Says Angie, yes. Uh, permission says, Emma, you can go out with your friends today, your, your father, right? When you ask for permission, okay? And you might have to take your medicine every day. You have to take it, right? Especially when you are very sick. You can't drive without wearing a seat belt. Mm -hmm. I like that construction. Sounds really good one. You can practice in my house, okay? You have to take care Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Right off, Jenny. Yeah. Prohibition. You aren't allowed to use phone at, at office, at the office. Yeah. Good. Okay. Thank you so much. I see some of them, which are really good ones, guys. Uh, but some of you haven't sent anything. I don't know why. I am still waiting for some of you to share your examples. Why is it that you haven't shared? Postman, Jose, um, is it too easy? <laughs> What's the reason that you haven't sent your example or you don't understand the topic, how it's working? I want to give you some other ideas. Let me, uh, and well, we have this one, guys. This is on the video you already saw, I think. Right, Angie, do me a favor. You can still continue to share your examples, but I wanna give you some others uh, based on the video. Angie, can you do me a favor? Can you read what, it, what we have on the screen? Use. Okay, use can or be allowed to. Example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up, fate, uh, all, stay up late. Yeah, Sorry. late. Yeah. So we use can and be allowed to permission as, as Angie read it. You can park here, right? You are looking for a, a, a parking space at the mall and then, wow, well, you don't find it. And all of a sudden you, you get one. What about this one? I like this one, which is uh, our second one. And this is uh, prohibition. Let's see, I need to ask someone else. Genaro, can you listen to me? Can you read what you see on the screen? Can Prohibition. Mm -hmm. Use. Can't or not be along with. Two, example. He can't smoking in the lobby. They are done alone to ask, ask where the phone. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate it, Naro. Yes, be allowed, allowed, right? And then uh, we have, I can smoke in the lobby and you're not allowed to answer the phone. That's prohibition. And we have our, our last one. Maybe, let's see, Emma, please help us with the next one. Give me a second while I display it. Here we go. Obligation, Emma, help us please read. Obligation, you have to or have got to. Example, you have to play run. He's got to pick up the trash. Right. So there's no option. If you don't pay your rent, you might be in trouble if you are renting, right? Now in El Salvador, we have another type of rent <laughs> and blackmailing. <laughs> you know, if you don't pay your rent, they give you the axe okay um so and then we have you have to pick up the trash right because of course nobody would like to be in a place which is dirty right okay now this is what i want you to do we have these um scenarios we have three questions right and we're going to work in in uh, maybe groups of three or two but i want you to write these questions because you are going to brainstorm ideas about each of these places that I'm giving you on my, well, in my case, I see that on, on my right. Maybe you see that on your left. Um, at work, at school or at university, at home, and at 
at the park. So I want you to think for each of these places, what can you do, what you are allowed to do, and what do you have to do, okay? When you are in each of these places, we have four places. And maybe the first step that I need to ask you to do is write these three questions and then write the places. And then I'm going to give you some time for you to bring some ideas. So I'm gonna give you three minutes and start writing this on your notebooks, please. Three questions. Oh, you don't see the places, Gustavo? The places are here on the screen. Don't you see it? Or maybe, do you see at work, at school, at home, and at the park? Okay, good. Write the places down as well. One more minute for you to write these questions. I think we have the idea on the places that I'm giving you, and now it's time for us to brainstorm ideas in each category. Okay, the purpose is that you go and start checking and thinking about each place and answering each place with each question. So three questions for the same place and so on. And please make sure you participate. I'll be you know, checking around. And uh, if you have no partner, please um, come back to the to the main session. So we are for this is the 12, so I can create four groups. So everybody is uh, in groups of three. Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, ask questions, uh, ask your peer, hey, um, so what do you think about school? What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And then you make the list, okay? I'll give you maybe five minutes or, or so, so you can work on this. Here we go. No, I can't. I can't hear you. What do you say? Okay, this is okay. Now it's perfect.
Okay. And, and the yeah. first, I have to practice more English. Is I have to speak English. Yeah. Um, if that is at, at university or at, at school. I was thinking in but in the question that said what do you have to do and university I can we have to be early. Well, to be early a class yes a or class. for class mm, in all class Okay, okay, wash your dishes, okay? Wash. Okay. The dishes and another another one. You have to um, put the trash on the on the um, you have to put at at the park. Yes, yes. yes. Uh-huh. Okay. You have, have to put the trash the trash on the on what the trash say? bag. Who is trash bag? Eh, trash is basura. Trash trash bag is la bolsa de la basura. Ah, okay. Trash bag. Okay. We done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you finished all the scenarios. Yes. Oh, all the, all of yes. the, Okay. I okay. Good. So let me then uh like finish the session. Let's go back to the main room. Then give me a sec. Hello, Emma. Do you practice with your peers, with your partners? Yes. A I lot? 
great okay yes i'm glad to hear that okay let's wait for the other ones to come back so we can start socializing everything you you know shared in the rooms i think it's like a couple of seconds more jenny is back when when i see jenny's background i like it you know i wish i could you know draw all that you do really cool and what is uh the size of the biggest drawing or paint you have done what's the size the biggest one you have done jenny what's the size like centimeters or maybe meters or inches what's the size of the biggest painting you have made or you have done because i see the one on your on your background maybe they're like uh how how big are they like um maybe 20 centimeters or or so Okay, so I don't know if you are speaking, but I can uh, hear you anything. But you know, I like your drawing. That was that was uh, what I was trying to say, guys. Well, thank you so much for practicing. I was, you know, uh, checking around, and I found most of you were practicing and using the time. I gave you plenty of time, almost almost eight minutes. But I'm glad you used it uh, wisely. Now, I want you to please share with me, okay? Share with me what you discussed. Maybe I heard some ideas. I liked some ideas you were discussing, but your partners haven't heard anything. So let's share. Who wants to start maybe um, listing what your group said on each category, or you can take terms? Anybody? Nobody wants to do it. Come on, just read. You already have it in your notebook. Yeah. We can share one of each category or yeah. all of them. You, what, what about this, Gustavo? You do one category and then you ask any of your partner within the same group to share the second one. And that, and oh. that, okay, yes. So in the first one, what can you do? Uh, at work, for example, um, my partner said you can you can eat at lunch at work. That's the first one. And for the second, uh, what are you all what to do uh, at home? For example, you're all what to fall asleep. Not and at work, not at work. Work at work or university, uh, it's not recommendable. It's we, not really we don't recommend. Mm -hmm. uh, at the last one, what do you have to do at uh, university? Uh, we have uh, talking about you have to be early in class. Okay. Yes, interesting. Like if you fall asleep at work, then you're fired. <laughs> yeah, at least. Yeah, at least. Yes. So I imagine. Has this ever happened to you? No, never. In your life, have you ever? Uh, maybe when you, when you are really tired after lunch. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I don't know. I don't know. But I, rem I remember that when I was younger, I would say maybe um, 25 or younger. After eating lunch, I was like energetic, you know, that now that after I eat lunch, instead of <laughs> me getting more energetic, I, I feel as if I want to take a nap. <laughs> I don't know if this is this only happens to me, but let's see especially if, if I am at home, 
Because if yeah. I am at work, if I am at work, there's no option, right? But then if I am <laughs> if I am at home, I eat lunch and then I want to <laughs> sleep. I don't know if it is only me. And this started happen, happening to me maybe a year ago or, or so, you know, maybe after the 30 years. <laughs> And yeah. does this happen to you, or is only me the the weird that wants to sleep? I think we all, we, we all, we all wanna do that. Hey, they say I don't know if it is a Spain, mm -hmm. but companies allow uh, employees to take power naps. Yeah, That's, I I read about it. You you read about it, right? Uh, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> okay, yeah, and yeah. They say that if you are tired, you're not productive, right? So it makes sense. After yeah. uh, you feel like as if you want to fall asleep, then it is okay to give the employee maybe 15 or half an hour power nap, and then boom, you you reactivate your you know your mood and and it's it's um it's better, right? You're more productive, you know. But in El Salvador, they want you to work more and harder, and they pay you little. In this country, right? We have to do something. <laughs> okay. And um, I think I read this in a book. I don't remember which book, but it'll be great to implement power naps. <laughs> yeah, Google implements that. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Google you see? That's, that's what we need to have in our country all the time. <laughs> good programs, good projects, good incentive for employees. Okay. Good, uh, I want to hear more people speaking about this. Thank you so much for sharing, Gustavo. Anybody else who would like to share? Uh, there are many activities you can mention. Actually, I heard some of them. Go ahead, please. Anybody? Lisa, why so serious, okay? Are sharing, you know, your what you have done with your peers. I heard you speaking English, Melissa, and good English. So go ahead and share it. Just like uh, I wanna. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Uh, the first question, what can you do? At work, you can talk with your coworker, in, at school, you can uh, talk with your classmate and your ha in at the park. You can play with your friends. Uh, the second question: What are you allowed to do at the school? She is allowed to drink water in class. Um, at home, he is allowed to watch TV after the homework. In the park, he is allowed to use the bikes. And the third question, what do you have to do? Uh, you have to complete the information at work. Uh, at, uh, at, at school, you have to do your homework at your house. You have to wash the dishes and finally at the park you have to put the trash back put the trash in in it's deposit right in the trash trash cans or trash bags as you said it okay so thank you so much uh well guys i still have a chance for one more if you would like to participate don't keep your ideas maybe there's something that you you can teach us by sharing your ideas Anything? Anybody? Me, teacher. All right, Jenny. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember the name, but I speak about the park. In the park, we, uh, he, he can run, uh, play soccer, play basketball. And he, and he he have he allowed to to take the dog at at, at the park at, at your son and your friends and I I don't remember more. <laughs> Thank you 
you so much for sharing. Yes, at a party, you're allowed to take your family, right? To chill, not to play soccer or stuff like that, okay? Makes sense. Guys, our last activity, okay? Our last activity is the following. Maybe we're not going to finish it, but I still want you to start working on this. Um, we are going to make some role plays, okay? And these role plays are going to be based on the following scenarios, okay? So you guys are going to work in pairs, okay? You will take the role either as any of these um, options given. So we have parents and children, we have boss and employee, we might have teacher and student, and if you don't like these options, you think about any um, option in which you can give, uh, let's see, maybe, or where you can use obligation, prohibition, and permission, okay? And you have to act as it is. If you are a, if you're a father or if you're a mother, try to be as a mother. And if you are a kid, behave like a kid. And then if you are more like being a boss, and then try to behave as a boss and then the employee and so on and so forth, okay? So um, in this time, let me see how many are you. We are for 13. I think we're gonna have to have one group of three. And, um, but please make this a conversation or a short dialogue and play the role, okay? Play the role. I think if you have kids, uh, it'll be great to hear you acting as a mother or acting as a father. But then I don't know if the other person would like to be the son or the daughter. So you think about it. So choose one scenario and then start brainstorming ideas. We don't have much time, but I still want to create a groups in case we don't finish this activity. Uh, maybe you can work on the ideas tomorrow during the day and Tomorrow night, we are going to start maybe uh, sharing or we're going to finish it. But as of now, I want to create a group at least. I'm going to give you three or four minutes just for you to uh, get to see or get to know who you're going to be working with. OK, so I'm going to create a group randomly and choose one of these scenarios. OK, maybe Jeff would be the song and Jenny would be the mother. Think about these orders and prohibitions you can give. I don't know, you you name it. But as of now, I'm going to create a group so you see who you're going to be working with. Let's see. Um, I don't know if you No, it's got to be in pairs. Let me see in pairs. That'll be. Hmm. I like the groups. OK, I'm going to create the groups. Somebody is connected already. Alguien se fue porque no quiere, no quiere <laughs> Ya va a ver quién se fue, ya lo va a reportar. <laughs> OK, uh, so I'm going to send you to the, to the rooms and you start, you know, uh, creating this. Let me see. Here we go. Solo tenemos como dos minutos para que vean con quién le toca que trabajar, OK? And then I'm going to call you back.
I know you didn't finish because I know it's little time. The idea was just to have very some, some you know, ideas about your scenario because tomorrow we're going to continue to work on this idea. And if you can, during the day, if you can contact your, your partner, try to think about how you can create a conversation so you are like almost ready for, for that, you know, for your role play. And please um, play the role, okay? Play it as if you are, as if you really are this person, okay, that you have chosen. And that's gonna be for tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if you have any question before we finish this session. Uh, teacher, I just uh, want to say that I came late to the class because I, I have problems with my computer. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, well, in this case, Reina, you can uh, join any existing group. So you can, because the, the point is that we are just um, creating some role plays and on the scenarios given. Maybe you can contact anyone from this group on the chat. Uh, and then... I already have pair, but I I just want to tell you because I I was here since like a forty five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I so, can see. But I have okay. but I have pair. All right, that's that's great. I see some of you guys are giving numbers on the chat, so that's really cool. Well, guys, thank you so much for your attention for participating that makes it you know more interactive and well i'll see you tomorrow take care and have a good one bye bye bye, -bye. bye.